I think in the early days, it was basically a lunch and dining club. Apart from the educational trust was the main thing they were doing. There weren't many events. We weren't doing a great deal. I think it was a period of consolidation. And of course, that was the time when the founders of the company, Reg Bowden and Ron Edwards, and uh, Jack Rook, and also um, people like Austin Nunn came into it and made a great contribution to it, uh, not forgetting Tony Bell. Um, that was, it was a period really of, I think, consolidation having started and then moving into the livery company, which was a great development. But it, it wasn't terribly active, quite frankly, at that time. And maybe one couldn't expect it to be. Uh, I think that's the main feeling that I had about it in the early period. But by the time you became master in 1990, had that changed a great deal? Yes, yes. People, new people were doing things. Geoffrey uh, Naylor, who was uh, arranged for a visit, for example, to Bristol. And uh, that was fascinating because we were able to get away more. And I think that encouraged fellowship. Be just attending luncheons and dinners was all very well, but I think we needed to get away. And that really was a great success. And it registered with me how important it was to develop that feeling amongst all the membership. The other thing is membership was very low. Uh, for many years, the membership was 90. Now that meant the attendance at lunches, paying for stationers' hall and other things was very difficult. You had to increase membership. And that was another feeling that I had at that time.